Chris Larson revealed XRP is absorbing Bitcoin. XRP to $65,000. After a large-scale study of the impact of Bitcoin mining on the global climate, Ripple co-founder Chris Larson has allocated $5 million to launch a new campaign that will change the method of producing new Bitcoins. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. Bloomberg reports today that Larson will collaborate with environmental activist Greenspace to launch a new campaign dubbed Change the Code, Not the Climate. Larson said, If I was worried about Bitcoin as a competitor, probably the best thing I could do is let it keep going down this path, Larson said. It's just an unstable path. The new initiative is designed to put pressure on the Bitcoin community, especially developers, to change the way transactions are processed on the network with less energy consumption, which, according to Larson, can be done using a soft fork or hard fork. The problem of Bitcoin's energy consumption can be solved with a soft fork or a hard fork in both cases. The network code is changed to make Bitcoin less energy intensive. It is noteworthy that Bitcoin developers can also switch from a proof-of-work POW, model to a proof-of-stake POS, consensus. According to the report, the funds provided by Larson will be used to purchase advertising space in the world's leading media and will begin publishing next month. In addition to publishing advertisements in the media, other climate activist groups are also collaborating with this initiative, as they have begun to mobilize their members for more intensive grassroots efforts. Cryptocurrency mining has been widely studied for many years due to the enormous energy required to conduct activities. The verification prompted the world's second-largest cryptocurrency Ethereum, ETH, which was originally built on the POW algorithm, to make significant efforts to switch to the POS model. Speaking in an interview with Bloomberg, Larson said, Now that Ethereum is changing, Bitcoin really stands out. Some of the new protocols Solana, Cardano, are based on low power consumption. Larson, who owns both Bitcoin and Ethereum, noted that he wants both cryptocurrencies to succeed. Recently, Bitcoin mining has been suppressed by the authorities, even by those who once provided shelter for this activity. Activities that are usually welcomed at the initial stage are usually suppressed by the authorities due to the huge energy consumption. At the moment, researchers claim that Bitcoin mining operations around the world consume as much energy as Sweden, and many campaigns launched by interest groups in different parts of the world are aimed at driving Bitcoin miners out of their cities. Last year, China took strict measures to stop cryptocurrency-related activities, suppressing the activities of Bitcoin miners who continue to have a negative impact on the environment in the country. Crypto Law founder John Deaton shared the news that Ripple blockchain technology is now being used by Canada's leading bank CIBC for cross-border payments. Ripple's partner, NAB, one of Australia's four largest banks, said on its website that it is partnering with Canada's CIBC using Ripple's blockchain network technology. CIBC is a leading global financial institution headquartered in Canada, serving 11 million private banking and business clients. We're excited to be working with CIBC and have already partnered with them in using Ripple's blockchain technology to complete international payments transfers between our banks as a proof of concept. The Bank's website also says, we believe that technology can not only deliver international payments in real time, but also improve the security and efficiency of our payment systems. As we wrote earlier, RippleNet General Manager Ashish Birla said that its core product ODL, on-demand liquidity, operates IN22 target markets and is close to achieving global coverage. NIUM has launched a new solution for brokerage payments, which offers international financial institutions, FOS, a faster and more cost-effective method of calculating transactions for selected U.S. brokerage companies, which allows customers to easily invest in U.S. stocks. Our new payment solution for financial institutions that send money to brokerages allows their retail customers to invest in U.S. stocks quickly and easily, said Frederick Crosby, Director of Revenue at Singapore-based payment company Niam. The new solution, which uses RippleNet, predicts a reduction in settlement costs for financial institutions by up to 90% compared to the SWIFT payment network for transactions on international brokerage accounts. Frederick Crosby said, 
At NIAM, we are constantly striving to empower growing companies with global reach to move money in a smart, fast and secure way. The new NIAM solution significantly reduces the cost of these transactions, allowing financial institutions to either share the savings with customers or reinvest the profits in the business. NIAM pointed out three main advantages of ITS Global Payment Network and new brokerage solution. Savings of up to 90%, increased customer satisfaction and increased demand for new partnerships. Cost savings of up to 90%. Global financial institutions using the NIAM brokerage solution can save up to 90% on each transfer and use these savings to increase profits and reduce losses or increase volume by offering customers cheaper transfers. Improving customer satisfaction, reducing the friction associated with investing in the U.S. Stock market for international investors increases customer loyalty and brand attachment. Increased demand for new partnerships by using the NIAM network to optimize payments to brokerage accounts in the United States, global financial institutions can attract new customers by taking advantage of low-cost NIAM transfers to create new partnerships with brokers. Retail investors have rushed to invest in global markets, seeking to diversify. Banks and brokers serve new market participants and should be able to meet their requirements. The NIUM Global Payment Network allows these global companies to maintain a competitive advantage and stand out in the industry. NIAM was founded in 2014 and uses Ripple's advanced blockchain technology to process its customers' transactions in real time. It is said to be the first in the region to offer corridors from North and South America to a number of destinations in Southeast Asia. New network connections have also helped NIAM strengthen its presence in Australia, Singapore, and Malaysia. Ripple is rapidly expanding its presence in the Middle East. Ripple's partner, the Qatar National Bank, QNB, the largest financial institution in the Middle East and Africa, says that it has successfully launched a RippleNet corridor, Ripple's global financial network technology, between QNB Qatar and QNB Finance Bank, Turkey, thereby expanding Ripple's presence in the Middle East. Despite the fact that XRP, the seventh largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, is currently trading in the red, the crypto community predicts a positive outlook for the digital asset, estimating that by the end of April it will be trading above $0. 90. The coin market cap community predicts with a forecast accuracy of 77% that the price of XRP on April 30, 2022 will be $0. The live XRP price today is $0.88 US dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of 3,740 million US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end, if you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.